So, since my family, they already hopped in my inbox saying, um, take this down, keep it privately, families, nobody should know about, no, no. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with black families that y'all feel like rapists, pedophiles, and shit like that has to be a secret. No, that should never be a fucking secret, G. And y'all can get the fuck out of my inbox. Until you went through what the fuck I went through and you have to have, deal with this shit and having these mental breakdowns every fucking day, every year, every month, and you can't stop it because you don't know what the fuck it is. Oh, it's your fucking family. It's your fucking family. Your dad, your mom. I call for the mental breakdowns and you're with them 24-7, G, because they're your fucking family. What I want black people to do, because we have a hard time doing this. Let's start exposing the rapists. Let's start exposing the pedophiles. Let's start exposing them uncles, because it's a couple of uncles, too, that are pedophiles. Let's start exposing them, them dads, them brothers, them cousins, that are fucking pedophiles. And if my family continues to hop in my inbox telling me to take this shit down, the shit really for to get serious, G. When I say it's really for to get serious, because I, do you know I know a couple of y'all sons that he didn't fucking did it to? Do you know I know a couple of your sons that he has done it to, G, and your son ain't even told you because your son fucked up about it. But then he came to me about the shit. That's what I'm saying, G. Stop telling me to take this shit down. I'm not taking nothing down. Y'all need to start exposing these rapists and these pedophiles. Stop acting like this shit is normal, y'all. It's driving me crazy that everybody thinks this shit is normal. It's not normal. No one should be fucking a child. This shit is not normal. It's not normal. It's not fucking normal. And it's driving me crazy. It's literally driving me fucking insane. And I'm on fucking live on Facebook and I don't even do this shit. I don't do this shit. I don't even go live. But since my family want to hop in my inbox and tell me what to not post, Everybody want to know, oh, you were just with your dad and your family. All this, blah, blah, blah. We kicked my dad out. We kicked my dad out in March after the last victim came forward. Because we was confused on why the fuck he's still doing it. He's still doing it. He's not getting help. He's been doing it since we were kids. I can go get the fucking DCF report from 2005. When my mama left him and went back, her dumb ass took us back there. That's another reason why I went live. Women, let's talk about these mothers. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to go on a little ghetto yelling rant, but I'm pissed right now, y'all, because it's Father's Day. And I ain't gonna lie, I knew I was gonna feel this way. I knew when Father's Day come, me and my siblings, we've been dreading Father's Day, because his birthday is June 1st, so we had to go through everybody posting him for that. And we was dreading Father's Day because we knew this shit was gonna stir up more trouble. I don't like to leave in. And I understand my mom had four kids, but y'all need to fucking leave. You cannot stay with men that are raping your children, that are beating your children, that are hurting... Think about your children first, because they're gonna end up like me, 26, having mental issues. Got a degree, got a job, got a business, got everything going, credit score, amazing apartment, got money, and still having issues. Bro, I could be happy as fuck right now, but I'm not, because I'm still having issues back from my childhood, literally from my childhood. So mothers, this I'm literally making this live for mothers and for black families, because black families do not like to leave and do not like to tell the truth. Stop hiding these rapists, y'all. Stop hiding these rapists. Stop hiding these pedophiles. We kicked my dad out in March. After we, the last victim came for him. I'm not going to put their name out. The last victim fucked me up. It was somebody really close to me, and that shit was not, it was not okay. Not okay. Last victim fucked me up. Fucked me up. The first victim fucked me up. And that was 2005, bro. So, I'm making this live because everybody in my inbox. I'm going to continue posting what the fuck I want to post. We're gonna stop hiding rapists, we're gonna stop hiding pedophiles, and we're, gonna, we're just gonna stop all of that. It's 2021, there's no reason. No one in the family, the, the fact that my family is coming to me like, oh, well that happened to me too. And they thinking it's normal, like just taking it. No, y'all, stop thinking this shit is okay. Stop letting this shit happen to your children. I don't, my, I'm making this post because my niece, my nephew, all the, no one's gonna be around him. And I'm letting people know because so, people, so many people are comfortable with my, my sperm donor. So many people are comfortable with my sperm donor. I get it. I get it. He's a, he has two faces, y'all. Y'all got to remember, he has two faces. He's really kind and sweet, but he also, behind your back, is a fucking narcissist and a rapist. So I get it. He may not be the person that y'all see, but I lived with him for 26 years now. If I'm telling you this, I'm not lying. I have no reason to lie. If I'm on live right now, that mean I'm fed the fuck up and I done had enough. Nobody's going to go laugh talking about this shit. Nobody's going to make posts on Father's Day. Nobody's going to do this shit unless they've been through some shit, G. My own older brother, when I told him he didn't get no fuck, Chris don't get no fuck about shit. He, oh, okay, I knew he was doing that gay shit. That's what I'm saying. Everybody think it's okay, y'all. It's not okay. 
Stop thinking these things are okay. That's why I'm making this fucking lie. Stop rubbing this shit under the rug. Stop pushing it under the rug. Y'all have to. For your children, for your grandchildren, for the future generations, stop. Black families do this so fucking much. Stop hiding rapists. And mothers, I know y'all love y'all baby daddies. I know you got too many kids to leave and move on with another nigga. My mom had four kids. I get it. But my mom also was a badass bitch. She paid all the bills. My dad didn't do shit. He just got a job three years ago. So she could have did all this shit on her own. Like, I, I don't like shit like that. I don't, I don't like shit like that. And I'm not trying to bash my mother. Love her to death, but I can't, I can't fuck with her or him because you, I just feel like everybody knew what the fuck was going on. Even his family. His mama, I feel like my grandma, she know. She know he a rapist. I feel like she know. You know your fucking son is a rapist. Everybody knew he was gay. And that's fine. My dad's been gay for years. That's totally fine. But a rapist? That's not fucking okay. And if y'all think y'all gonna hop in my inbox trying to scare me and I'm gonna take some shit down, meet me in my crib. Meet me in my crib. Meet me in my motherfucking crib. Come to my face and say that shit. Come to my, cause you're not. Cause y'all don't care. And if y'all cared, y'all would have had us out that situation years ago. Everybody knew that shit was happening. Cut the fuck out. And when people have to live with this shit, we gotta suck it up and we just gotta live with it. I get it. It happened. Let it go. I'm not gonna let it go and just move on. I'm gonna make it known and then move on. Because I'm not gonna just carry this shit. Carrying this shit has been heavy on me, y'all. That's why I'm on fucking live. Carrying this shit has been excruciating pain. So I'm making this live to say stop hiding family rapists, stop hiding family pedophiles, and please be honest with your fucking children. Be honest with yourself. Won't better for yourself, won't better for your kids. I would be so much fucking mentally better. I'm straight. Physically, I'm fucking straight. I'm great. Working, got a business, credit score, pop, like I'm physically straight. Mentally, I'm fucked up. And that's pissing me off, G. It's really pissing me off. It's seriously pissing me the fuck off. Like, and I, I'm done. Like, when I say I'm done, I'm, I'm, I'm just done. I feel like everybody fucking knew. Everybody fucking knew. Everybody knew. Everybody knew. And I'm not trying to hear, I'm not trying to hear nothing else. I don't know why a 15-year-old, my 15-year-old cousin is in this. Why is she in the comments talking about I'm standing up by my grandma? That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, black families have a bad habit of feeling like, oh, you can't say nothing. No, it's not, that's not, no, no. Because she should have stopped it too. Everybody should have stopped it. And I'm saying something about my grandma because my dad be's over there with them kids, with them boys. So I'm saying something because y'all need to stop letting him over there with all them boys. He likes little boys. He's going to do something to them little boys. And I'm pretty sure if you ask them that he probably already fucking did. He probably already fucking did because he didn't did so much shit to so many people around us, G. Like, this shit is literally embarrassing. It's embarrassing to have so many niggas come forward and tell you that your dad didn't did shit to them. Niggas. Because he don't like bitches. He like niggas. That's why he brought a whole nother nigga in the house to fuck, to rape us when we was fucking kids. Like, calling me. I called that bitch early when I was having a breakdown. The bitch didn't answer. Anyway, I'm done now, y'all. I'm done. I'm done. I just had to go on my little rant because everybody's in my inbox telling me I should have rapists. And I don't know what is this new thing where they had rapists. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So if you see Hamid, Sonny, and Droin, if you see him, see him anywhere, let me know. Call 911 because they're fucking looking for him. That's why he has us blocked. That's why he has us blocked on everything. That's why he keep messaging me from other motherfucking numbers and other things and whatever. Trying. So I'm going to stop telling people. Yeah. Stop telling people the truth. You're sick. You're fucking sick. And now I'm on Facebook Live having to tell the fucking world that you're sick. 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 It's fuck, G. Like, I'm over it. I'm over it. But I just thought everybody should know. Because everybody should know. And I want everybody to start coming forward. If somebody in your family is a rapist or a pedophile, come fucking forward. Stop hiding, sweeping that shit on the roof. You know how many people, G. I'm saying this. Let me, let me be completely honest while I'm saying this. The first victim was 2005. 2005. 2005. If we would have said something in 2005, G, nobody else would have got hurt. Do you know how much that hurt to see all these people hurt? Because we didn't. I was a child in 2005, so I'm not even going to include myself in the we. The adults didn't stop that shit. That's why I'm saying this shit. Y'all can put it into so much rapists. So much pedophile, so much shit. If y'all speak up, but nobody wants to fucking speak up. And I get it. I get it because you're gonna be attacked like I'm being attacked right now by my entire family. I get it. I fucking get it. I truly fucking get it. I don't have a voice because I keep yelling. I get it. But sometimes you gotta go through this shit. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna take all this shit. 
I'm taking this shit for my siblings because it ain't even me who really went through the shit. It's my siblings who really went through the shit. Who went through hell more than me. And I'm taking it. I'll take, keep inboxing me. Keep calling me. Keep telling me. I'll take all the heat. I'll take all the heat I need to take long as no other child get fucking raped or molested. I don't care. When I say I don't care, attack me. Attack me all you want. And I also will be posting the um, DCFS reports in the motherfucking comments since motherfuckers think I gotta lie. I got on a whole Facebook live to lie. No. The fuck? Like, get the fuck out of here. So, like I said, stop hiding rapists. Stop hiding pedophiles. I love y'all too. I'm not gonna respond to most of this stuff because it's, I'm fucked up. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm fucked up. And I'm gonna be even more fucked up because they're gonna keep attacking me. It's not gonna stop. It's gonna keep going. But, no more little boys will get hurt. <laughs> no more kids will get touched. So, attack me all you want. Like, literally, attack me all you want. Long as them kids don't get touched. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck how much you... You can do whatever you want to me. Don't touch them motherfucking kids. Uh, my brother talking about let him join. Oh, let me see where he joined at. Uh, talking about don't... don't. I don't know. Not my auntie on here. She probably treating my ass too. It's okay. I love y'all still, but I cannot um, have this nigga no more. I can't, so I can't hide. Y'all wanna have y'all can't. So. <laughs> Y'all wanna have So she so, lie? So she got a lie. So my sister shit. got a lie? Look, let me, hold on. Cause y'all, y'all got me. My brother at work. Y'all got me fucked up. I'm at sorry. Y'all got me fucked up. Y'all got me all the way fucked up. And I don't even like talking about this shit because I went through this shit. He did it to me. Thank you. He did it to me. Thank you. He didn't do it to you. And, and T.T. Ray, you want to sit here and talk? You want to sit here and talk? He tried to touch he, your he fucking son. Your son too. He tried to touch your fucking son. Your he tried son. to touch your fucking son. Y'all don't want y'all kids with the same shit he went through because y'all ain't talking to him. He did it to your fucking son. And you don't want to he dead ass did it to your fucking son when he was living with us. He came upstairs. That's why he stopped sleeping in the basement. Because he, he came upstairs. He came straight up and he woke me up. Talking about your daddy just tried to grab my dick and I kicked him in his fucking face. My cousin and told I told him, I told my, the only person that fucked me was my cousin. Because my dad wanted to rape him and he wouldn't let him rape him. Come on, Auntie Ray. Y'all need to really check in with y'all children at this point. Check in with your children. And I'm not, I'm not even being funny. Everybody needs to go and check in with their children. Like, get ass. Because we went through so much shit, and people claim they didn't know, but we were saying shit. We were very vocal. So I'm not trying to hear that. That's Everybody why I'm gay. Bitch, I'm not gay. I still get pussy. Hey, like, gee, you supposed to be my auntie, and you sitting here calling me gay? Honestly, get the fuck on. I don't claim none of you niggas. Gee, he touched, he touched the shine. Who he touched then? He touched the shine. He didn't touch you. Diallo, when the fuck, when the last time you lived in our house? Why would I be talking about you, Diallo? But from, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't want you to get on here because I don't want them attacking you. See, I'm not lying. Why the fuck would I say that? Diallo, Diallo, Diallo. Go to work. Go call these Go to work. Go call these Go call these Go call these You ask him, did Diallo that nigga try to touch his dick? He kicked him in his fucking face. You have first. Come on, come on. You have first. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, Okay, let me tell you what y'all not about to do. <laughs> y'all not about to attack my siblings. Anything you have to say, inbox me. I'm not gonna lie, inbox me. My brother's at fucking work. There's no reason that he should be even dealing with any of this. I'm not gonna lie. That's why I didn't say their name. That's why I didn't say nothing. But some about since it's out there, I'm just gonna post the pictures and the, the pages and everything with their information on the now because I'm gonna block my brother. I'm just gonna post it because <laughs> I already knew my was gonna come after me that's why we didn't say nothing uh, this whole time that's really why we ain't came forward and said nothing about it this entire time we should have been saying something but we have it because we knew our family was going to attack us which families do that i get it they don't want to admit that they have something like somebody that's fucked up in their family but mind you this is my fucking father my father y'all my fucking father y'all so how is his sister his nieces and nephew his mother how are they Trying to tell me, and this is my father, y'all. Like, that's why, thank you, Makai. That's really why the cycle continues, because people won't speak up and they won't say nothing. They won't admit it. I just had to take my brother off of here because I didn't even like him doing that. I'm the one who meant to be there. I'm the one that should be going out at, at a fucking screen. Not my brother. I don't like my siblings going through, I, to be honest, 
I'm the mother for my siblings. I don't want them going through no extra shit. I didn't went through enough. They didn't went through enough from their so-called parents. I don't want them going through no extra shit. I'm gonna make sure they don't go through nothing more. My brother don't need to be on his speaker. He don't even need y'all to know his fucking business. He don't need none of that. He don't need to be arguing with people about what the fuck happened to him. Cause I'm pissed that I went away to college and my fucking brother was getting raped. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I'm pissed that my brother been contemplating suicide and I didn't know why until now. I'm pissed that my brother couldn't even tell us what the fuck was going on until now. So, what y'all not gonna do is get on this post and attack him. Ha! This is the fuck y'all not gonna do. But, you can attack me, you know. Attack me all you want. Cause I'm strong, bitch. I can take it. I can motherfucking take it. But guess what, bitch? Y'all can continue to keep y'all kids around him if y'all want. I really, I pray and hope my auntie don't. You got four boys, G. Think about your fucking boys. Even if you don't believe me, have something in the back of your mind to say, I'm just gonna be conscious just in case. Like, dead ass, you have four boys. He loves boys, G. He loves little boys. Just please, y'all. Like, please. Think about y'all fucking children. Like, it's really starting to blow me that so many black people are okay with hiding rapists and pedophiles. Like, think about your children, G. I'm about to be 26, and I'm fucked up mentally, G. Like I said, I'm physically straight. Bitch, got money, got several jobs, got everything I need. I'm mentally fucked up. Mentally fucked up. Because I got to live with this shit. Live with this shit. Like, literally. So y'all can inbox me all y'all want. Y'all can talk shit all y'all want. Do, 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 tell my, do, do whatever you want. Just don't keep rapists in your family. Don't keep pedophiles in your family. And stop lying about the shit. That's, that's really the only reason I made the motherfucking laugh. Like, literally. Thank you. It really is. It's a special place in hell for people like them. It really is. <laughs> and it's a special place in hell for people that hide people like them, too. Because I don't like people that accessories. Like, it's a lot of accessories. It's people that know this should be going on, but they don't speak up. And they also don't take their children out the situation. So I feel like you're kind of an accessory for the situation. Not going to lie. You are. But I'm going to get off lab though, day, y'all, so I can call my brother and calm him down. Because there's no reason you need to be upset about this shit while he at work. And I'm about to treat these people, for real. I'm going to shoot y'all ass. My auntie, my cousin, I'm about to treat all y'all ass. Just, just give me a second. I'm going to send a voice message. I ain't going to send no regular message. I'm going to cut y'all out with my actual voice right before it's gone. Because it's about to be gone. Because y'all got me fucked up. But y'all, I'm going to save this lab. I'm going to keep it up there. Share it as much as you want. Hi, Mitch, Sonny, and Druid. If you need his picture, give me a second. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I don't get no pictures of that nigga in my damn house. None at all. Look at my higher post and show that post. But I don't got no pictures of that nigga in my house because I don't fuck with that nigga. But I'm going to get off live, y'all. I love y'all. I do appreciate y'all. When I say I appreciate everything, I appreciate the people that are standing with me, the people that don't, don't sleep the shit on the road, the people are, that are believing me, the people that are here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Because if only you knew half the shit, so much, that's just one piece of it, y'all. That's really him being a rapist is just one piece of what he did. Not even gonna get into the people he paid to come to the house to do this. Not even gonna get into that. But send prayers my way. Send hugs my way. Cause I'm a motherfucking idiot. Cause I'm about to go the fuck off on these people in my inbox. Love y'all.